Hey you guys, it's M4J here and welcome back, wow that's loud, welcome back to Transport Fever. I'm just going to turn that one off because that's a really loud train. Um, yeah, welcome back to Transport Fever 2, sorry not Transport Fever, uh, we are in the sequel. Yes, we are here at Richmond and we're currently, I'm just checking on stuff, making sure everything is working as expected still. But uh, one thing I am very happy about is the way... I'm just going to pause the game a sec so I can hear myself think. I'm very happy about the way these trains are working now. So this line here, uh, the one I was just on, this one, uh, you'll see now it's called Egham to M4J Junction. Last time out it was Egham to Richmond. I think it might become Egham to Richmond again in the future, but right now it's to M4J Junction. I extended it. I had an issue where the train was... Stopping at the station, reversing, and it was getting to around here. And then it was reversing again with a new direction of Richmond Central again. And then it was going right the way up, round to Luton, round the loop, and back again to here. And then it would just rinse and repeat. So I've extended the line up to M4J Junction. I could have extended it to Luton, in fact, but I did it to M4J Junction. It seems to have worked. It's non-stop between Richmond and M4J. And I think... I think that's why no one's really using it right now, because there's not many connections north of there, at least. I am going to look at new connections. Uh, does this still connect? It does. That's amazing. Uh, I'm going to look at new connections from M4J Junction up to Maltby and beyond. But first, I want to build the second part of this line here from Ulverston down to Poulton le -Fylde, which is a really easy section of track, to be honest. It just follows the... Uh, it just follows the, the road slash river all the way down. And Poulton's pretty much on the river. So I think the station... I'm really tempted to build the station like here. And we'll have a temporary bus connected up. And then we'll just let the town grow around it. I do need some money coming in. I've also got a plan for this section of line here. I wanted to quad track it. Um, I'm not going to do that today. Because there's no need to do it today. But I think I'm going to quad track it. And then have the slow lines on the right hand side here and the fast lines on the left. How that's going to work when we get to Richmond, I don't actually know. I was also tempted to turn this bridge here into an underwater tunnel. But I don't know how easy it will be to get the tracks back up again on this side. I'm kind of stalling for time right now whilst I wait for the money to come back. I seem to have no money right now. Some other things I've done. Again, just stalling for time right now whilst I wait for the money to come in. That's got a lot of people waiting for it, actually. I might increase... I don't know, actually. It's not full. Um, one other thing I've done is turned off line manager for trains and also uh, cargo airplanes. Because we had way too many and it was becoming very, very expensive. I've been looking at these lines here to see what's losing money. And to be honest, this line I was just looking at is one of the ones that's losing money. So I'm going to remove some trains on it. That's going to get us a little bit. It's not going to get as much money here, but it is going to improve running costs, which is more important right now than anything else. Uh, I've also just remembered that I need to put my phone on silent because it is the middle of the day. Um, just bear with me one second. There we go. Oh, there we go. And there we go. Actually, do you know what? Just do that. Okay. All good. So, yeah. Uh, I've been looking at which lines are costing us the most money. And trying to do something about it. Um, right now, Minerals and Grains is a funny one. Because... Oh, it did get a third train in the end. It did actually add one. These trains do earn a ton of money. They just get caught up still. Uh, this one here. We could do with removing a lot of these. You see, I'm basically getting rid of the old ones first. A bit like what Line Manager does, actually, to be fair. Uh, I'll get rid of these three as well. And then one, two, three. That takes us down to ten. That should be more than enough. Puts the rate down to 30, but it should still be fine. Any others that could do with improvement? Oh, yeah, the Crayford to Luton line. Now, this was running very, very full, so I increased the size of the trains. But now it looks like that's not necessary anymore. Is that the case? You've got 50 out of 108. You've got 6 out of 108. Uh, excuse me. There you go. Oh, it's that one again. And then you've got 23 out of 108. And you've got 3 out of 108. So do you know what? I'm going to edit these vehicles. 
And again, it saves a little bit of money. There we go, there we go, and there we go. Right, so with this money, we're going to start extending this line. Now, this bit here is going to be a bridge by the looks of things, or at least it's going to start with an embankment and then turn into a bridge. Um, number of tracks, two. That's all fine. And then, yeah, we're going to come out this way. We're going to keep that. We'll curve around this way a little bit. And we want it to be level. Like so. Now I believe that is going to create a bridge. If it isn't. Oh no, there you go. It did it anyway. I was going to say I've got the new mod here that allows you to um, turn anything into a bridge basically. Whatever level you're at. But it looks like we're not going to need it. Can I? I think we're just going to have to do it like this. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. And then we'll have an embankment. We'll turn off the terrain snap. And then I think I'm really tempted to just run alongside the river at this point, you know. I get as close to the water as we can. That looks nice. That does look nice. There we go. And then just follow the water. This little section here, we might just go with a flat level crossing, to be honest. We're not going to see that much road traffic across here, so we'll just go with it. Like that. We will, of course, change this, like so. Again, I love how the parallel tracks doesn't like level crossings. Fascinating. Okay. So we'll fill in this gap. Oh, I've made for myself here. Like so. And then we will fill in this gap over here. The bridge. There we are. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty. So yeah, the, the station. I'm really tempted to build a three-platform station. Kind of down here like this. Like so. And then we'll connect you up like that. And then this can come across like so. And then we'll try and get the... Uh... Oh, there it is. Like that. Turn that into a double slip, of course. Nice. And then we'll build a little uh, roadway. So the roadway, I think we'll have it come down like this. And then I want a um, one-way street. So basically, I want it to come down like this. And then you're going to come down and round. We could just connect you like that, but I'm going to do it like this instead. And like that. And then, of course, we'll turn that bit round. There we go. Now, for a bus station. Damn, I was hoping to be able to fit one in here. But I suppose the bus station can come up here. Kind of like this. But then I wanted quite a big one. I mean, a one and a one for now is fine, right? Like that. And then for the rest of this road. If I build you along like this. And then you along like this. And then this is going to become a passenger harbour. I don't think we need this many by the way. I'm just experimenting. Yeah, we definitely don't need that many. We'll go with one large. We could put a cargo harbour in next to it at some point. But you can see it's all very nice and connected up. Now, what, what other towns are there near this river, actually? None. So this is probably going to be more of an industrial 
ship route, to be honest. But it will go with it for now. Richmond will eventually get its own ferry terminal, I'm sure. Maybe even Olverston as well, because I noticed that was relatively close. Not stupidly close, but relatively close. As for Poulton, we'll put bus stop there and there. And then I think one up here. And we'll go with that. Road depot. I mean, that can go opposite the uh, approach to the station here. Uh, I do need to signal this section of track. I'm going to go with the color light aspect again, I think. Um, which one? This one, I think it was we used, wasn't it? So we'll do that. And then obviously remove that one. There we are. And then we'll come all the way up here to Olverston. And we will place this one. But of course we will remove it. But I'm also going to remove this one. Because we have got the, uh, the triangle to build in here as well. Which is going to mean that this line here is going to get moved. Probably to the other side. And then the railway is going to come round somehow and this station's probably going to get moved as well uh and again i wanted to do that now but is it worth it i think it is worth it you know it's just a question of where do you build it because it's got to connect up still i think if we for now connect this up Still, so we've got a road connection into uh, Olverston now. We'll build that across. I think. I think it's going to be like this. We'll have to move it away a little bit. Again, maybe we'll leave it for now until we can get curved stations. That might be the better way of doing it, actually. Uh, so those two signals could have stayed, but I've removed them for now. It's fine. I'm fully you running. Eh, reasonably. This is going to become quite busy as well, mind. So it's all good. So let's get the uh, the bus line here up and running. Like so. Oops. Idiot. There we go. And you are Polton Bus. We actually have new buses as well now that I'm very excited about. We've got these ones. I don't think... Yeah, their capacity is lower. Um, but they can go faster, which I think is still a good thing. Still for the best. As for this line... Did I put overhead water? Oh, I did. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. We're going to start here at Polton. And then we're going to go up to Olverston Junction. Uh, and then we're going to go up to Crayford. Well, I think we're going to stop on the outside for this one. And then up at Richmond, I'm tempted to just have us terminate and then come back. So, Richmond, let's go with like platform one. Like so. And then you'll reverse. Yeah. Come back via Crayford. Uh, where you go into platform one as well. And then down to Olverston West. And then back to Polton. That's fine. And then at Polton here, you're going to go into platform three. And you are just Polton. Whoops. To Richmond. And I think this could be operated by a. Uh, a little shuttle as well. Can I de electrify this without having to. Yeah. That's fine then. Good stuff. 
Um, yeah, we might just use a little uh, auto train for this as well, this line. That's not a bad looking station. Uh, and then this here, I don't know what we're doing with that actually. I'll leave it for now unless it's costing us a ton of money obviously. But I don't really know what I was doing with that. So Ulverstone is now connected up. Uh, I will leave this. For Actually, that was the other thing I was going to do. Can I? I'm very tempted, first of all, to clone this train. But then grab you. I'm going to keep you pinned. Where are you right now? There's a question. Because I want you to be on this line. Oh yeah, you are a Richmond. That's fine. Cool. And then this train here... I'm going to have you replaced with this. So it can hold 56 passengers. It can go 78 miles an hour. Now, what's the running cost? Let's do the comparison. So our little dinky auto tank, one of these, 237. And then it's one of these I believe which is so it's about 740 ish a year whereas this is 905 hmm. we'll give it a go this will be our first electric vehicle on the network we'll see how well it goes for a start it's very quick. I'm just going to remove that because that's loud in my ear. How many people we got waiting? 29. So hopefully this is worth it. I don't know whether people are going to be happier using this because it's cleaner. Because I know emissions are a thing and that does impact whether people choose to take your train or not. Uh, and our emissions right now is terrible. So anything that can get people onto the train and out of their cars uh, will be valuable. So that's that section done. Right. Something else I want to do today. Um, we'll keep an eye, actually. This might be... Where are we? Richmond. So I think... I thought it was over here. Oh, there it is. I am going to keep you pinned. We might unpause the game in a second. I'm just going to leave it paused for a little bit, though. Uh, over at Wokingham... I want a new line here that branches off, goes up through St. Helens, maybe through Redruth, Camelford, and then connects up again with the main line just before Blackburn. So it's probably going to go through Wimborne as well. Um, and this is going to be for express trains between Maltby and maybe Poulton, but especially uh, via... Uh, Egham. I forgot the name of the station then. That's good, isn't it? So this section of line here is going to get rebuilt. So the main line is probably going to curve this way. And then this is going to become a two-track branch down to Luton. So you're on the, the right line, so that's fine. So over here... How am I going to do this? So you... Okay, yeah, yeah, I've got an idea. We'll remove those. Get rid of that. And also that one, that one, that one. Uh, that one, that one, and that one. And also that one. Cool stuff. Yeah, catenary, that's fine. Fine, catenary, however you say it. Don't really care at this point. We'll extend that bit out. We'll extend... Okay, slightly different there, but that's fine as well. It should save a little bit of money as well on the maintenance of this section of track. And I'm tempted to do the same up at Blackburn. Reduce it down to M4J Junction to two tracks. But I don't know, because I think we got a bit more freight traffic along that section.
We'll see. We'll see on that bit. In the meantime, though, this is great in that it is... It's... Oh, sugar. I knew I was going to do the wrong one there. It's going to add something new to the network here. Also, is this all... Yeah, I had a feeling it would be. It's that one. There we go. Keep that out just in case I delete the wrong bit again. Are we nearly there? Yes. Good stuff. So I think Wokingham Station is actually going to get rebuilt now. There it is. Knew I was going to do it. I think Wokingham is actually going to become a six-track station. So to be honest, all of this here is going to get redone anyway. So might as well just go with it for now. Now, annoyingly, that road depot is right in the way as well. There we are. And then a little bit more here. And I think that's fine. Okay. So here, we're going to remove all of these tracks. Like so. And then we're going to place down... Like this. And then another pair of these. Like so. And then another set of platforms. And then another set of these tracks and then a set of slow tracks like so and then some platforms again good stuff now we'll put the uh, crossings So auto save, yes it is. So gonna have to wait for that to finish. Come on, auto save. Any second now. It takes its time, doesn't it? It's just me as well as the game really loud. I don't think it's as loud for you guys because I have got it turned down on OBS, but my god is it loud in my ears right now. And the pianist is really rocking out to this one. Music in this game is great, by the way. It's not a complaint. I do love the music. And I'm very much looking forward to the uh, the update that allows you to choose platforms. Because then we can have, you know, primary and secondary platforms for this station. Right. So, manage line. So, the when it gets to Wokingham on the way from Richmond, it's going to stop in platform one. And then Wokingham on the way back... It's going to stop in platform 6. There we go. Right. Let's connect this up then. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. And then out of here, we're going to come this way. And somehow get round. Actually, should we have just built a new station over here? Maybe in the future. I think right now we're going to continue to try and... I mean, 100 miles an hour there. That's fine. That's fast enough. Yeah, that's... that's I don't see a problem with that. This side... Uh, actually, again, it's 124 miles an hour. So I'm going to try and get you across like this. 
into that platform. And then this track's going to come out this way. To be honest, if I could just get you in like that, that's fine. Yeah, no worries with that. Okie dokie. And then this one here is going to come out this way. And this one is going to come across this way. Like so. But we are going to have uh, the connecting sections in as well. So also... Um, Yeah, I didn't think it was going to let me do that. If I could just take these back a second. So you're going to connect up like that. And you're going to go across... What is it talking about? Why does it think I'm coming from that way? That's weird. Come on, there must be a way of doing it. There we go. Sorry. There we go. And I'm going to do that. And then this one here is going to connect up to that one there. Okay. So you are now going to be a double slip. Uh, the ones in the middle I don't think we are going to worry about right now. That one can't even be a double slip. But that, again, I don't think we need it to be. Because we've got the connections over on this side. So that's all good. Over here. Ah, yeah. No, no. We do still need something here. I'm going to go with the bigger one there. Oh. Did I see it then? No. I did see it then, though. One sec. I might be able to do it this way. There we go. That works. Bit slow at the end there, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, we do still need some stuff, crossovers over here for terminating trains. Also, I've built this wrong. I'll fix that as well. What have I got? Town Road. going to be this like so um right we'll do the connection on this side now then so actually it's going to be this one and you're going to come across like that and then this side you're going to come in like that and then you're going to connect up like so. And this one is going to connect up like so. And then here, I guess you're going to come in like this. But also from here, there's going to be a one that comes right across like that. And again, you're going to come in like so. But there's going to be one from, like, here that's going to stretch right the way across. I think I can do it. Oh, yeah, I saw it then. Come on. There we go. There. Nice. And as for these bits, I think I'm actually going to do it the lazy man's way. Oh, if it lets me. Not how you do that. Okay, I might have to do it with uh, double slips. I was going to try and avoid doing that though. 
Okay, yeah, no, it's double slips. That's fine. One there then. One there then. And then these ones. Ooh, I think it's going to be these two. Okay, what's the problem? Oh yeah, you can't get across still. Dope. So actually, I think the easy way to fix that is to grab... I knew I was going to do that. That was an uber misclick. Connect you back up. That's fine. And then, yeah, here you're going to come across like so. And then this is going to become a double slip. There you go. That fixes that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, Wokingham is now open for business again as a railway station. And in fact, the Maltby... Because this is a huge town now. Look at the size of it. What's its bus network like? Still only one bus, really. What other line have we got through here? It's Maltby to... Um... Is Maltby to Crayford come this way? No, it goes the other way. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, I know which one that is. I do know which one that is. Let's have a look at the ones we're just looking at right now. So it's Richmond to Maltby via Blackburn. Congratulations. You are now going to stop at um, Wokingham as well. So you are between Stockton and Luton. So you're going to come in on platform two. In that direction, I think. We'll sort that out in a sec. And then on the way back, uh, after Luton, you're going to stop at Wokingham platform five. I got this right. No, wait, you're working on platform two. Okay, where's the problem? Oh, we do need these ones in action as well. There we go. There's probably better ways of doing it than what I've done here, but it is what it is. It's a very strange junction on this side, but it's fine. It's a okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll put some signals back in along here. We'll go with the semaphores again, even though technically we don't need semaphores. We should be upgrading to color light aspect, but we'll go with that. Uh, right, now we need to extend the line this way. So we'll build this back in. I think we'll do what I've done before with these lines. We'll build the... Um, stations and then connect up the track it's probably the best way of doing it so at st helens so i say this is the more direct route but i'm not actually sure it's going to be the fastest still not 100 percent because for a start this needs to keep curving round It needs to keep coming this way. Again, if we can keep it like a hundred, that'll be fine. And uh, do we want it high? I suppose. But then St. Helens isn't up high. But then this will get expensive otherwise. So I think we might have to just deal with it. Yeah, I don't want I don't want a bridge. I don't want a bridge. Or if we do have a bridge, it's going to be a bridge like this. Which does work, to be fair. And yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Look at the size of that one. St. Helens is all the way. My goodness, look at the size of that. This is a huge financial risk I'm taking here, and I don't like it. 
I'll have all of this refunded, please. So I think new plan. Again, just imagine this station's going to get rebuilt in the future. So if we just do like a really sharp curve still this way and we'll have this be flat. Which is going to cause an expensive tunnel. But we're fine with that. And then we're just going to follow this road. Uh, but again, we want it to be flat. Which is still not hugely cheap, but it is slightly better. I think I want to go this side. We should be able to cram four tracks in here. Hopefully. If not, we'll build the approach in on the other side. Oh, okay, yeah, maybe not. In that case, we're going to reroute this road. We will come back and we will fix the road. Right now, though, I've got to get a railway in here. Priorities and all that. I could just, you know, increase this to four now. So, I believe... Yeah, that is what I wanted. Good stuff. Uh, and, yeah, just keep it going. Now, what am I doing with the station here at St. Helens? I think it's going to go here. And we'll make it a four track. Actually, we'll, mm, how big St. Helens? It's fairly big, but we're going to do it this way. We'll set the station back from the main road slightly. I think we'll line it up like this. We're going to do the trick that we did before where uh, platforms either side and then a central track. Like this. There we are. And then canopies try to make it look somewhat nice and then stairs there cool cool uh, you're electrified again aren't you yes you are you're not supposed to be that's dumb also that's dumb because I wasn't meant to close that window there we go right so yeah now we should be able to connect these up Like so. And then you will connect up to that one. Okay. So that's St. Helens connected. Finish these off. I think I'll come back and downgrade the tracks after. Probably gonna be easier to do it that way. Probably. It might not be, but I'm gonna assume it is. Connect you up as well. Good stuff. Um I see what's the difference. I think the 75 no mast one is for when you're building um junctions. go not bad right let's get this road repaired I might as well use this type now I 
I'll try and make it look a little bit wavy still. There we go. And then for this little bit, I'll just do that for now. And we'll have a barrier crossing here. Why not? A little bit modern. Right. That's St. Helens. Then we go up. So I think from St. Helens, we might have a little branch line that goes to Red Ruth. But then we do kind of need to go past Red Ruth anyway. Uh, and again, I'm looking at this. I actually think we're going to have to come around this way and then back. If you look at this road, we need to follow that road ideally. This route's going to be fun to build. Absolutely. I think if we start curving now. Again, that's not going to um, automatically place barriers, which is fine. If I can get it to like 90 at least. There we go. Actually, I can go... I can go... F faster than 90. I'm starting to think I should have done this episode as a time lapse. <laughs> save myself some time. Or, you know, save myself some voice. Now, I think we can come around like this. Because we have to go around the back of this construction plant anyway. So, I think 110 that I saw there. That's good. That's a good number. There you go. And then, whoops. This way. And then, at this point, we're following this road up and through the the valley here. Roads can be useful. Very useful. The gradient on this bit as well is going to be incredibly steep. Should I build a tunnel here? Can do, I suppose. Depends how we're going to... We might come round this side and then through Red Ruth. So it might be down the western side of Red Ruth. And then that sets us up nicely to go through Camelford. So yeah, we'll probably have a tunnel here. And then here... We are probably going to have to bridge. Fine. We'll get a medium sized one. Which again we don't have parallel tracks for. We'll come back and fix that, I'm sure. And then around again 100 miles an hour. If we can achieve 100. We'll probably go a bit. If we get to 110 actually that'll be fine. Go with a cheap tunnel this time. There. And then kind of the same thing as the other side. So, overhead, no. I think we're just going to build it like this. And then tracks. One, two, four. It's not where I was meant to put that one at all. Uh... Get rid of that one. Here we go. And then we'll stick. Like so. And then miscellaneous. We want small shelter, not a huge one. And then again, underpass. Cool. So already I can reroute this slightly. I don't like that little kink at the end. That's going to annoy me. But then this is going to turn into an expensive bit of track if I'm not careful. And it might already have. 
but what can you do? Ninety-eight miles an hour. That's fine. How much? Seven hundred and mm, that's not too bad, I suppose. We will have to go to the bank of unpausing in a second just to uh get the money trickling in again. If we build out like this. So that's the other thing, we haven't quad tracked this yet. Let's uh get this done. So I think the new route, in fact, even the previous route, not this one, this one's going to stay, but the one we built last episode to Egham, I think immediately that's going to be rerouted this way. I think that's just going to be better. Do you know what I should prioritise, actually? I should prioritise building this as a double track line. And then we'll quad track it from this little bit onwards. So let's get this side in. So that bit like that. And then this bit all the way around like that. Again, you can see it's getting expensive. And then this little bit like that. Cool. Are we okay over this side? No. Still got to do this little bit. There we are. So St. Helens is connected up. Red Ruth is connected up. Now, we're going up to Camelford. Now, I think Camelford could have a four track again. I like that. Uh, and we might just go with a bog standard four track at this point. And we'll build that over here. Like so. I think that's fine. So from, from Red Ruth, we're going to follow the road again. And then here it's going to branch out and around the town. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I need to unpause for a sec just to get some money coming in. All right, we'll pause it again there. That's really loud in my ear, that auto train as well. Sounds great, don't get me wrong. But my God, it's loud. Okay, this is the route we're going to take here. Uh, if I had my face cam on right now, if you saw the face I just pulled doing that, that was really stupid. There we go. And now around like this. And again, just going to follow the road as close as we can. Up and over the hill here. We will jump through. Oh, I was about to say we'll jump through a tunnel, but we don't need to again. That's good. Although, no, we have. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Again, around 110. That's not bad. I'm fine with 110. We'll keep bringing that around like so. And I think... Here is where we're going to separate these two bits. So you're going to connect up to that side. And then this one here is going to connect up to that side. I've got the uh, the barrier there. I think that's fine, to be honest. Um, and then finally, Wimborne. So we're going to need to avoid the tram line here. We might end up going under the tram. And then Wimborne is going to be a one track with extension. And we're going to stick you here. So that eventually when this road's built, you connect. 
Uh, and then tracks. And then another 75. I don't know whether it's the terraforming or what, but I swear though the um, slower platforms, uh, slower lines, sorry, slower tracks cost more to build. Oh yeah, that's fine. Lovely money. Uh, misc stairs, and you'll get a uh, four long platform. Why not? Feeling generous. Okay. So yeah, we need to avoid the tram and then come up on the other side. So first of all, let's build without parallel. We need to come out and over like this. This one's just going to be this style. And then you're going to come around like that. That's fine. Yep. And then these are going to join up again. Parallel tracks. Now, I think we're actually going to run, if we can do it, as close to this line here as possible without actually touching it. So, we'll do this. Where's confirm? There's confirm. I am going to make a small tweak over here, though. I want it to come round this way now. And we want it to stay level. Here. And then we're going to keep going along. There you go. We tunnel underneath. Now, how deep are we here? I think we need to come up a little bit, but not that much. There we go. And then hopefully from here, we can get up to... <sighs> Damn it. Alright, hang on. It's not over yet. That's annoying. If, if it could tell me how close we actually are, that would have been great. Okay, solution, which is not cheap, is to knock this down slightly. So we'll build it like this still. Oh, auto save. And then we'll knock it down like that. We'll do a little test, see if this works. So I still need to add like that. And then tracks. There we go. That works. Yeah, that's fine. And then a 75er. And then we'll put that there. And again, I think you're a small station. We'll just do that. Could probably remove the shells from the other side as well, but we won't for now. Track-wise, no parallel. Like that. And then you can connect up there. And then there was another bit over here, wasn't there? Yeah, this section.
There we are. So we've got a bit of a tunnel here. That's fine. Main thing is, it does connect up and it does work. So out of Wimborne, I think we're going to follow it this way. And then, I mean, actually I say that. How bad is this? That's actually not great. So I think out of Wimborne, we are going to turn this way and then join up over here with the main line. Which is going to become the new main line, actually. So that's fitting. Okay. Parallel tracks, yes, please. I need you to keep coming around this way. 115, that's fine. And then, oh, which way is that station pointing? Okay, so we need to keep coming around this way. Like this. That huge tunnel there. And it's not too bad. It's just not ideal. So we could go with a cutting, but that's going to be expensive. 1.4 million, but I think it's better off. I do think it's better off. Okay, and then this section here will connect up like that. Got this weird hump on the road now. That's fine. Okay. So that to connect there is fine. So this technically is connected now. Again, just pause quickly. Make sure I don't make a mistake. Uh, I need to build this round to there and then build this one round to there. I think for now we're just going to do a, a 4x4 junction here. Eventually this line here is going to become two track I think. But just for this, just for this section at least, we're going to make it four track. I don't know what we're going to do at Blackburn yet. Uh, and then, yeah, how far can I get with this now? Too much slope. Don't be stupid. It's going to be this level crossing, isn't it? Yeah. Fine, we'll come back to that. I'm really happy that we're still making money despite this huge investment here. I was genuinely expecting the money just to, to head into the negatives. And every time I unpause the game now, I get nervous. Very nervous. Alright, that side connected... That side connected. Okay. I think here I'm just going to connect these up like that and like that. And that's how that's done. Uh, eventually, obviously, that will be signaled up and stuff properly. Now, we do still need to signal all of this. So this side here is semaphores, so we're going to stick with that on this little bit, like so. Over here, how far is that one? Okay, I'm going to put another set here. A station here would have been smart. Again, one day in the future maybe, we'll build a station here. 
But look how undulating this route is and how evasive it needs to be to get round. Especially this section here between Red Ruth and St. Helens. That is insane. Yikes. Alright. So this one. I'm going to put three aspects on the outer line and four on the inner. We'll see how well that works. Should I have signals? I think I should have signals just before the station here as well. Like so. And then over here. Like that. And like that. Turn off auto signals here because we're going to have one there, one there. Okay, and then this bit is going to be all four aspect. Because obviously, in the future, this is going to be the fast line and therefore makes sense. I think here we're just going to have uh, it opposite, like that. And again, we'll remove that one. Connect these tracks up. Like so. This side will do the same thing. Like so. Signals again. Auto signal is on. Good stuff. Remove you. Ah. Got a whole track missing here. Glad I noticed that now. Uh, get that connected up. There we go. There we are. And then we'll grab some 75 mile hour bullhead. Connect these across. One. And that's not right. I don't know why it's starting to do that now. It's weird. That's two. There we are. This side, uh, we'll just connect up straight off the um, the platforms here. So that's one, and that's two. Signals. Yep. Auto sig is on again. Good stuff. One there. Oh, that didn't work. Ha. Huh. Alright, hang on. Let's do it from the other side. See if it works this way. Also, is this all... Oh, it is two track. That's fine. I think there's four track this side. But then it goes back down to two again. Yeah. Uh, let's have them... Like, technically here would be better. Okay, you worked. That's fine. Wait. Something's not right here. You're the middle two, right? Yeah. Oh. Idiot. It helps if you put it on the right track. That will explain it. Okay. Now I can go place these by hand if necessary, but I'd much prefer not having to do that. There we go. Now we're working. 
Good stuff. So this section here, again, I think I'll just... Uh, Like, where it's actually connected up, I think we'll just quad track it. Like, where there's already quad track, I think we'll just keep it. Obviously, we'll have to downgrade. Is that auto save kicking in? No? It's weird, it didn't do anything. Though. I think it quad tracks everything that's on. Oh, sorry, it converts everything that's on screen. So I'll just make sure that what I need to be converted is on screen. And then this little section here will just build. There we go. It's cheap and cheerful when. Uh... There we go. Uh, and actually, I removed this one, but I'm going to put it back. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with having that one. Yeah, that's fine. And then over here, again, I might as well just keep... I think that's fine. Now, technically, I would prefer it if these two were the other side of the level crossing. So I am going to put move these ones. go. Now is this quad track all the way to Luton now? I think it might be. Uh, that one didn't place. Is that one going to place? Yeah. And again, very quickly move these to this side of the crossing. go those two are the right side good stuff put that one there put that one there and then we'll remove oh we should have except we don't I say we should have quad signals. We still don't. What's going on here? Slightly irritating. Uh, come on. Nope, still not working. Oh wait, that one's working now. It's just this one that isn't. I mean, we're... we're mm. It's fine. I'll place them manually. It's fine. They're not going to be perfect, but they'll be pretty close. Uh, also, actually, again, I'll have another crack from... Here. If I just go yes, and we'll put you there... And you there. There we go. Now it works. And again, it's on the right side there. And it stops just there. Sweet. Okay. So Stockton, Wokingham. Then it comes round this way and heads up that, that route. So the last thing I want to do in this episode is find Egham to uh, M4J Junction. There you are. Pin you for a second. There's quite a lot of trains on this line, actually. It's funny that. Right, so after Richmond, you're not going to go to M4J Junction anymore. You're going to come up here to Wokingham. Where on the way out, you're going to stop at platform three. And on the way back, you're going to stop at platform four. That's fine. And then after Wokingham, your next stop is going to be... We're going to skip St. Helens and Redruth. 
Uh, actually, are we? Hang on. Yeah, we must be. Skip St. Helens, skip Red Ruth. So your next stop is going to be Camelford. Where it's going to be platform three on the way out and two on the way back. Okay, and then uh, skip Wimborne. Man, the lag in this game now. There's a lot of lines. Are we going to stop at Blackburn or are we going to skip Blackburn? I think we're going to skip Blackburn as well, you know. So Scunthorpe, I think, is going to be our next stop. I think. And again, Scunthorpe. Uh, on the way out, it's going to be platform three. And on the way back, it's going to be two. And then finally... Maltby. I'm sure there is a bay platform with our name on it somewhere. Yeah, I can see one. I think it's already selected it. So what's wrong here with Wokingham and Camelford? Let's go check that out. Can I just close this for one second, just while I move back over here? Okay, so Wokingham here. So Camelford Annex. Yeah, three on the way out. And two on the way back, right? So we skip Red Ruth. Skip St. Helens. going on here? That is connected up, right? Yep. Right, where's the first signal? Out of Wokingham. So that works. There's a section of track that's not connected, I think. That's all connected. I don't know how it's not connected though, because we've got um, we got the signals in, didn't we? That's all connected. I've got the wrong piece of track here. So where where is it not connected? That bit's connected up to there. This is all connected, I'm guessing. Over here seems to be fine. Check. Okay. Ah, uh, no, that tunnel. I was about to say, is it the tunnel? But that tunnel is fine. This bridge seems to be fine. But again, we all check. Yep, bridge is fine. This tunnel here seems to be fine. Again, we'll check. I'll start removing some of these waypoints in a second. Get rid of these ones up to here. See if it still connects. Yep, still fine. Oh, yeah, yeah sorry, still fine. Through here. Connects up again there. This one, I think, is also fine. 
Yep. Also fine. Here it is. Knew we'd find it. That's somewhat embarrassing. It does help if you connect all of your track up, doesn't it? I do find that does help. There we go. So now, uh, where's the next signal? This one. And hopefully, nope, I did an auto place. Yeah, that's that's kind of annoying actually. How I missed something as easy as that. Uh, right, signal there. Cool. At least it works now. That's the main thing. Might as well rename this while we're here. So you're not Egum to M4J Junction anymore. You are Egum to Maltby. There we go. Okay. We'll grab this train as well. Because I want to watch this on its first route. Uh, and then when you connect up. So this is all fine through Wimborne, connect up to the main line again, uh, this is all fine, yeah, that will get changed, I'm certain of it, now I kind of want another train, or another route, so how many routes do we have that go through Scunthorpe, okay, oh wow, that's busy, that one, yeah, we need to ease up on capacity here. So maybe a, a, a line that starts at Moldby here. I think we have one that goes through. Maybe we don't. It stops at Yeovil. So that's the Moldby to Crayford one as well. You're going to be Moldby to Crayford and also that one. I'm wondering if we, the Moldby to Crayford, if we remove like Yeovil and Framlingham, Maybe not, because mm, we don't want it to be the, exactly the same as this one. And you do not You do go through M4J Junction, don't you? Yes, you do. So, although, do you stop here? Yes, you do. Okay. So, we'll have you stop at Blackburn. We might take out... Mm, yeah, no, we'll take out Yeovil and Framlingham. Maybe not Framlingham. Maybe just Yeovil. That might work better. Where's the oval? Come on. There it is. Maybe Framlingham, Framlingham can't speak. Maybe Framlingham will get taken out in the future, but not right now. Okay. And then we have another new line. God, this screen is torturous. We'll start here. Uh, at platform two, I guess. Uh, and then you're basically an all stopper. So Framlingham coming on one. Scunthorpe coming on one. Uh, Yeovil come in on. Do I not even have a choice of platform here? Oh, you are wrong. That's why. Yeovil coming on one. Blackburn coming on two. That's fine. And then you're going to diverge here and you're going to go through Wimborne Minster Holt, which is going to get renamed. You're going to come in on one. And then you're going to come down through Camelford. Uh, and you're going to come in on one. Cross here to Red Ruth. You're already on one. That's fine. And then right the way around here to St. Helens. Coming on 
whatever platform that was, which I'm sure was the right one. And then you're going to terminate at Wokingham. Now, before I do this, I need to make sure you can actually get into the right platform. So I'm going to turn this one. Actually, am I going to do that? Either that or I'm just going to build a new track here. Like so. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Here we go. Wokingham. And yeah, you're going to come in on one. Perfect. Now, how's he getting back? Seems to be going that way, which is interesting. But we are going this way. Up via St. Helens again. Where you should be coming in on two. Uh, you're not. You're coming in on more. Oh, no. One. Sorry. That is fine. And then up to Red Ruth, where you should be coming in on two. Yeah. Camelford. Wrong platform. You need to be coming in on two. Uh, no, not two. Sorry, four. There we go. And then up to Wimborne Minster Holt. Coming in on two. All the way up to Blackburn. God, this is so slow. Blackburn station needs expanding as well, for sure. It's way too small for the, the needs that we've got here. Yeovil. It's the right platform. Good stuff. Up to Scunny. Now, if uh, the Egham to Maltby train is empty at this point, I'm going to have it skip Scunthorpe because I think that would be a good way to, to get people on it because it's the faster journey. Coming in on four. And then I think Framlingham is the last one, is it not? Yes. Whew. And then we're done. Now, you are Maltby. Two. Wokingham. There we go. I need to borrow a train from uh, one of the auto trains again, I think, to run this line. Where would one be? One would be here, I imagine. So in fact, let's, let's not pin that. Let's see if there's one on this branch. Wow, where is one when you need one? Is that one which is heading in the wrong direction technically is that really the uh, the nearest one it's probably cheaper to buy one then let me check down the other end we don't have any on this line do we no Uh, oh, yeah, you. You, you, you. Is this one here? Nope. It's close, though. Oh, I think I also want... So I should have built a bay platform, which I could actually do still. Uh, tracks... It should fit there, no problem. Uh, and then here we'll just do that. And then what am I looking for? Might be to Wokingham. And then at Wokingham, which is here, you're coming in on platform one now. Okay. So yeah, I need to find a train on this route that is relatively nearby. Now I'm hoping there's one down 
this way somewhere. Are you one? You are one. Perfect. Pin you as well. So you are now going on the, not that route. That route. There we go. You do still actually have people on board, which is interesting. Yeah. You do still have people on board. Right. Final thing this episode then is these bus routes. So, like I said, we've got this bit here set back from the road. That's so that we can put a, uh, a little one-way street in. We'll run you across. Are you connected? Oh, yeah. You are. Just couldn't see it. So you're going to come out here. As for this bit, I guess you're going to come in from there. And then as for this, bus stop right outside the station. Nice, nice, nice. And then uh, we'll have one there. One right the way over here. And I guess one sort of this side of town. I think that covers everything. Certainly looks like it does. Road depot over here somewhere. Like so. And then new line. One there. One there. One there. One there. You are St. Helen's bus. Uh, and we'll get the vehicle running on that now. Cool. Got to do the same thing for Red Roof. And again, we got to connect this up to the town first. Uh, wrong street. We'll do something like that, and then we'll just curl it around like that. That's fine. So you're going to go there like that, and then we're going to have. Let's see. Probably just need one for now. Right there. And then we'll build the bus depot just outside town like that. There to there. Oh. Thought autosaver kicked in again. It's the town name was in the way. There we go. Red roof. Bus. There we are. Buy vehicle. Get this one. What's the running cost difference, actually? Oh, it's cheaper. So it's faster. It does carry a lot less people, but it is cheaper. And I think I'm going to count that as a win still. Uh, Camelford. Camelford doesn't actually have a bus line. Well, there you go. That would explain why not many people are using this tram. does actually explain a lot. So we'll put a bus stop there. Uh, I'm going to connect these two streets together as well. I think we're going to have another bus stop here. One. I'm going to put one here for the tram station. Uh, but also one there. Connect that up as well. And then I'm also going to put one uh, actually, it's probably going to be over here, but it also technically serves the um, tram station. Maybe one down this way too, which then actually makes me want to put one over here. Okay, this one's quite quite big. Camelford bus. Uh, we'll start you there. There we are. I didn't build a bus depot, that's fine. This one can go... Uh, I might put it up here, actually. There we are. Buy a vehicle. I'm actually going to use this one for this, because I think it's going to get quite busy. 
Camelford bus, off you go. And then everything else. Oh, Wimborne. Uh, now, maybe I'll just move this stop up. I believe that's connected. If I was to put you there. If I select you. Now, you you do serve, actually. So, I'm not going to reroute. I'm going to remove that. They can walk, right? Although, then again, Wimborne does need a better bus service anyway. Because we need to, again, connect up the tram. So, I am going to move this. Uh, let's grab you. Wimborne bus. Manage line. There, there, there. There you are. And we'll remove that one. Cool. This bit's all fine. Blackburn should be fine. Somewhat. And then all the rest are connected up anyway. Alrighty, that was a long episode. Hour and a half. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Uh, yeah, wasn't expecting it to be that long, actually. So sorry about that. But the main thing is... We are now all connected up and working, which is good. So, hopefully this all works. I'll keep you posted in the next episode. Um, and yeah, then that'll do it for now, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you enjoyed the series so far. Drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And from a very, very loud transport fever too. Uh, until next time, I will see you soon.